that is called only. So please can again. Let's open to Ecclesiastics and read it not much of Ecclesiastics. Chapter 9, verse 1 and verses 4 and 5. Chapter 9, 1, verses. Chapter 9, 1, 4 and 5. Whoever has seen this. Yeah, I think I can't. No, uh, yeah. For all this I consider in my heart to be able to declare all this, that the righteousness and why their works are in the hand of God. No man knoweth either love or hatred all, uh, by all that is in them. Everything belongs to God. Let's see 4 and 5. Let's see what he says. He says, For to him that is joined to all living there is hope. And that is one major thing. I mean, okay, I, I think I have it in another version. Maybe before another version. He said there is hope for the living. So even if you are passing through something you think is not really good enough, there is hope for the living. It's only the dead. He said, for a living dog is better than a dead lion. You might think you are the base of your life, but you have hope. God is dead for us. Now, Psalm 107 verse 21, let's see what it tells us. Psalm 107 verse 21. He said, All oh, that men will praise their Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. We talk about hope. We talk about Jesus. I mean, God, Jesus being with us. And we talk about, I mean, we talk about, can you go back to Yeah, the his unfailing love and his goodness in life. So then, please, Japanese, now 66. 16 to 20, Psalm 66. If they come and hear all you that fear God, and I, will, yeah, and I will declare what He has done for my soul. So, you have a license to do that. It's accepted, it's allowed to you. And I'm going to have one verse more Luke 17, verse 15 to 19. Luke 17, yes. And one of them, these are the people that were. The, the, I mean, the Jesus Christ met, I think they were lepers. Jesus Christ met them and they got saved. But after of them, only one of them came. You know, said, Can you go back? 15. And Jesus, no? 17, 15, please. Yeah. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back. With a loud voice, glorify God. Then go, go ahead, please. And fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks. He was a Samaritan. It's not like to say that he was not even a Christian. That's maybe the way. Then go to 17. What happened? And Jesus asked him there, When there not ten cleansed, but where are the nine? And go back this 18, we have it, we have it there. They were not found that we thought to give glory to God. Same is strange. Now go back again. Go back again. I mean, sorry, 19. Can you find them? Yeah, and he said unto him, Arise, go thy way, thy faith hath made thee whole. Now look at this. This is where I'm going. I've not reached there. I'm still on my path. Now, why should I keep doing this? God? God has not completed his job. The first time we said that we should not be both because it's not what we made as in ourselves. But this one is still telling us again that even if you feel that it's not been completed in your life, when you are still moving ahead, even when you are still passing that through that fire, that the faith will make you, the faith will make, make you whole. Your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ will accomplish every good thing that He has desired for you in Jesus' name. And now, there's this condition again that still have to put on again and let us realize. You know, sometimes again we feel, am I worthy? I think I remember there was a time in my younger age and then, well, I thought I did something last week in the week and I didn't go to church. I really decided because I wasn't really having that pressure. To go, into, to go to church and uh, 
Uh, well, unfortunately for me, when I was leaving my room, it was I stayed true. And as I was stepping out of my room, that was the time the people that went to church were just all being back. So I said, well, what did I do? Then I remember this verse in Korean. He said, if the people that are called by my name can humble themselves and, and seek my face, I will hear from the heaven. I will heal their land. So what I'm trying to say in essence is, even if you're thinking you're not worthy enough, there's the part that tells us that it's true. If you humble yourself, think about him, pray to him, you will hear our voice. You will hear our land. So whatever nasty things you are having, we are passing through, God knows about it. And it's ready to heal us. Now look at it. You painted some pictures now. The first picture we painted is that none of us here has the power to save himself. The only power to save us is through God. Me is God through his son Jesus Christ. That is fact number one. Number two tells us that even if you think you are not having the best of faith. Consider it's all for you. Consider it's promise. I consider this way that says, if you are passing through fire, you are passing through water, if you are passing through any other situation, is there with us. And again, we will still remember how it was there for the three, the three Israelites. Um, these, those three guys that were shown into the den of Lion, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He was there with them, and they were thrown into the. Yeah, those are the friends of They were thrown. Were they thrown in the fire or lion's den? I think lion's den. So the fire, yeah. We have two cases now, really. I don't want to go this. Thank you. We have two cases. We have some guys that were thrown in, into fire. We had another guy, that was Daniel, that was thrown in the lion's den. God, we were, it was written that God was. With them in those two scenarios. Look at what happened to them. The guys that were drawn with me, they were put in fire. They went through the fire, for the fire did not consume them. But those people that drove them, threw them in the fire, were consumed. If you think it is something because of the area, the sphere of I mean the sphere of influence. You know, the sphere of influence is just a concept that helps us that if you get close to something, you get affected by that. You know, the closer you are, the chances for you to be affected. But you have people that were in that region, they were not affected. It's only God that can do that. Then we have another scenario again that tells us that we should give thanks for His goodness, for His faithfulness. Then we have another one again that tells us that He will keep us true. Even if you think you are not fulfilled, He's ready to fulfill us. Well, I painted all those things. Now, I didn't use my own words, I used His word because that is. Let's see now if we can give thanks to God or we cannot give thanks to God. And again, it tells us again, we don't have any reason to be ashamed. It's only God, we're doing it with God. And with that, I'm going to ask now if we have anybody that has to give testimonies unto God, to whatever God has done in his life. So, picking on us. Well, that's not, yeah, I saw your hand off first. No. Number one. <laughs> Two. Broken number three. Yes, Sister Kevin number four. Yes, Sister Justin number five. Nobody from this side, I go to this side. Brother Ivy number six. Sister number seven. Yeah, my friend number eight. Mommy number nine. Daddy number 10, sister number 11, Raso, yeah, number 12, sister Farubika number 13, oh, sister, pardon me, Orishirishi number 14, <laughs> number 14, who is number 15, please? I will be number 
how we can last face it. Now, let's do it in the way that was done. Now, there was an example we had in the Bible. There was this guy that was sitting somewhere and he got healed. You know, his eyes, I mean, he got healed. And he got to the synagogue. And so perhaps I think, what happened to you? Are you sure that they called his mom? Are you sure this guy was really healed? He said, do you also know him? He said, who is he? He said, Jesus Christ, one man who described him. He said, Jesus Christ. He said, I don't care what you say. All I care for is I was <laughs> And now I can see. Let's make it that way, please. God bless us. No more.